Rocker Pat here. Hi right, guys, it's another hot rocking day in the jungle. And man, I had to go pick up this trailer the other day. Uh, ironically, about 20 miles from my piece of property. Uh, my buddy needs a place to sleep. And he's been sleeping inside my garage on the concrete floor. And two weeks ago, we went and bought this trailer and we noticed that, uh, yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's got a big swarming nest of honeybees in it now what gets me is you've been hearing on the pbs and every all these little channels and all the date lines and everything about how we're losing honeybees losing honeybees losing honeybees and the the ecosystem's going to collapse and everything well it's kind of funny to me because i've tried unsuccessfully several times to get somebody to come out here and help me get these bees out of here and every one of them wants five hundred to a thousand dollars to come out to help me get these bees out if you're so damn worried about the bee population in this world then they would be doing it for free or at least a reasonable amount and everything but uh yeah i just sprayed something on there that's going to kill this colony the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to tear into this thing and see how much honey's in there uh i hate to have to kill it but I i'm not spending the money i'm not spending a thousand dollars when I only paid $1,500 for this whole camper. Well, let's go inside and check this thing out because it's not too bad. It's a 1988 Wilderness by Fleetwood. Uh, we even have the owner's manual and everything on this thing. Uh, got a little galley back here at the back, a little table to sit on. We don't have any bees inside. That's a good thing. Got bathroom area right here. And then room for a good full-size bed up here at the front. And we can walk all the way in and stand up in this thing. Um, probably got a little bit of a water leak up here in this zone right here. We're going to have to get up on the roof and figure this out. I'll figure it out. It's not the first time I've had to deal with one of these kind of things. But yeah, 1500 bucks. It was a quite an ordeal. Uh, I had to install a... Had to install the fifth wheel hitch on the truck. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. But yeah, it towed pretty good. Got it here yesterday. Things that happened was there were... That water heater... Was sitting... Back here on the back. Until we were about... Right there on that little pedestal until I was about three exits from where I needed to be and it fell off the damn trailer. Had to get off the freeway and unhook it. Then, we got right there to that corner and the fabric ripped on the awning that was on this thing. And fortunately, it happened right there. And nobody got, if that would have happened on the highway, man, we would have had ourselves a chips moment Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. We well, all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. Man, I hate to have to kill that colony of bees, but they got to go. Y'all.